So now that we've got that initial unboxing done for you and that set up, what I wanna do now is just cover just some down to earth basics that you may be curious about, just like me uh, when you were considering making this purchase. Start with, of course, the size and portability of this machine. It is going to just knock it out of park with this. I own a MacBook Pro 16 inch and there is no comparison, right? I know on paper it might be like within a pound or so uh, difference, but that pound does make a difference. It is ultra lightweight, very thin profile, which is one of the huge things that sold me just to use this as a daily driver, right? Just to be able to use it, for example, while you're laying in bed, right? Just to check some email, do some streaming, maybe look at YouTube. Also, you know, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, if you're doing that type of stuff for college or personal life, um, again, web browsing, those different things, it's really going to excel at. Another thing that I'd mention is the battery life. So the battery life, I didn't do any like measurements or anything like that, I will just tell you on a single charge for the average person, it's gonna last you several days on a single charge, even doing all those different tasks that I just mentioned. The only time that I noticed a difference or a dip in battery life was when it came to gaming. Yes, Macs, Mac products can do gaming. Um, I always hear, oh, you know, buy, buy a Windows machine for gaming. Now, Macs can do some gaming as well. 
Uh, but that was the only difference or the only time that I noticed a, a dip in that battery life on my MacBook Air. So that is just something to consider, right? Temperature, when it comes to temperature, of course, it's a fanless design. So the only time that I noticed a little bit of warmth on it was when I took a FaceTime call on it. And even then it was just like the slightest warmth to it. But doing everything else I just mentioned, right? The web browsing, basic day-to-day -day stuff and the average person's life, it runs ice cold. So this is a great machine, again, to uh, have in your lap when you're sitting on the sofa or, or hanging out in the coffee shop or anything like that. Beyond that, speakers. So the speakers on this are, in my opinion, amazing. I love them. They're great. They serve their purpose. It's not gonna blow, blow like, you know, your socks off or anything like that, but they are actually really good. They're actually premium, good quality speakers, especially considering the size and how thin this thing is. So that's really awesome. Beyond that, the larger trackpad is something else that I really loved about the MacBook Air. Again, easy to use, right? Uh, with that larger trackpad, with the gestures and the different functions like that. I really like the low profile, which was easy ergonomics on my wrist for typing or using the mouse pad itself, or trackpad rather. And those are just some things that I wanted to mention to you folks as part of this review. Again, I say review, but it was just me and you having a conversation and just some things that I noticed and things that really won me over on this purchase. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and tell your friends about the channel. I'm very small, I'm just starting. I've only got about 18 subscribers, but I would love to continue my growth and get to 100,000 subscribers and beyond. So thank you so much, folks. Hope you have a great day and I hope you have a great week. Thank you very much.